Morning all, it's another beautiful day and I'm back in Pembrokeshire. I'm in North Pems today, heading through this beautiful conifer plantation towards a really wonderful place called Funham Falls. I'm hoping to get some landscape shots of the falls, but I'm also hoping to get some shots of a few wildlife if it appears. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> And it's quite an amazing place really because it's linked to Welsh folklore and the Mabinogion. And basically what it tells you is that Funnel Falls was the gateway to the underworld. I mean it's amazing thought really that this was the place where you'd sort of walk through the falls and enter the underworld. Oh, it's just it's fantastic tale and when you see the actual falls themselves you can see why people thought that because it's just a channel that leads into the darkness zone with the bright falls in the background and it's just well a wonderful piece of Welsh history that brings the country to life this is the falls themselves you've got the big spill pool after it and then the tiny, well it looks tiny from here on the GoPro screen but in the distance there it's about seven eight foot tall but on the left here in really wet conditions the water comes down there as well oh, oh fantastic we've got grey wagtails here oh, there's a nest just in the corner there just under some ferns by the look of it. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I'll get my gear set up. I've got to get some pictures of that. <laughs> what I've done here is I've got it set up with my camera pointing through some ivy towards the nest. I keep having to keep an eye on it to see whether they're coming, but um, yeah, I can't get closer obviously because there's all the pool of water here before the falls. But as you can see, it's quite rocky everywhere. It's a beautiful location here. But usually there's a lot more water than this. It's just that, of course, middle of summer now, uh, well, beginning of July, and it's getting, the water levels are low. We haven't really had any rain for a few weeks, and so we got this big sandbank revealed now, but usually this is all underwater when we've had a lot of rain, and the wood that you can see forming the bridge there uh, it usually stretches across and you have to tightrope walk from one side to the other. But it's really easy to get across today so it's making my life a lot simpler. Always with something like this, it's a matter of it's a bit of a waiting game. Because the chicks go really still in the nest at the moment when the parent's away. So you've just got to wait for the parent to come back and then they get all excited. Because yeah. uh, they're going to get fed. But the parent is going quite far off to get food for them. But there's no sign of them in the river around here. Um, but the 
actual nest site is fantastic. They all, you know, just here, it's above the water, so any droppings or anything go down straight into the water and get cleared away, so it keeps the nest nice and fresh, so that uh, there's no scent for predators or anything. Not that they could get to them there, mind you. That's a really fantastic spot. They're perking up again. I thought the parent was back then. But they seem to be um, getting a bit excited. Let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Haven't seen the parent yet. Oh, hold on. There it is up there. Here it comes. Here it comes. Short and sweet and it's all over. It's a very dark location as well, which makes it extra tricky uh, to get the shots because I'm down at a 50th of a second shutter speed to get the video of it. Um, but I still got to have an ISO of 6400, so it's very, very dark. Whilst I'm waiting around here, I'll give you a rundown of my gear. So today, I'm using the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II and I've got the 300 f4 prime on it with a 1.4 teleconverter as well so it gives me a full frame equivalent of 840 millimeters oh parent coming in there we go <laughs> oh this is fantastic only trouble on an occasion like this you need about 10 cameras what oh, parent again <laughs> oh. Well, there's one right above my head then. Whoa! <laughs> they don't care about me here. They're just carrying on, doing the daily chores, feeding the family. <laughs> I have a feeling there may be three grey wagtails feeding the chicks. Now it is a thing that birds do, but I've never actually seen it before. But there seems to be a lot of grey wagtails around here, you know, activity to do with that single nest. It's fascinating behaviour here. Now, carrying on about the gear, I keep getting interrupted by these uh, birds. <laughs> yeah, but I've got it mounted on the tripod because it means I can just leave it pointed at the nest and I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, getting focus again when something happens. But, yeah, I could be shooting at 840mm handheld with this, which is amazing, really. The stabilisation is so good in the Olympus. I've just had the version 3 update for the firmware on my camera and I've noticed something quite weird when I started off this morning this big fuzzy microphone uh, was producing no sound whereas before the firmware update everything was fine but what seems to have happened is the firmware update has reset the fact that it's providing power to the external microphone so now I've switched that back on and it's all working fine but that was quite annoying you know if I hadn't had a backup option then I wouldn't have been able to record any sound today so I've got a big fuzzy microphone on so let's see where we get some better sound we might get the chicks if we're very lucky be able to hear them I'm beginning to notice a pattern with these oh parent coming back there we go yeah into the nest <laughs> Brilliant. 
Yeah, there's a very definite pattern emerging. A parent comes in, uh, feeds the chicks, and then will pick up some of their droppings and fly down to almost the exact same spot to drop them into the water. Um, I'll try and get a shot of the parent doing it, but so focused on the nest that I don't want to move the camera, but I will get a shot. I managed to get some footage of a grey wagtail up at Tarvachan on my last video. Uh, I'll put a link up there. But this is something special because I've got the nest. Oh, parent again, parent again. Oh, yes. Yeah, there it is. Flew off over there. Landed on the gravel bank and it's now dancing around in the air trying to catch some um, flies by the look of it. <laughs> had a great day but it seems the wildlife has won again <laughs> there's just something about it once you see some wildlife it captures your attention and you just can't look at anything else but I managed to get some uh, landscape shots as well as the nest but I don't care I've got some brilliant images wonderful footage on the video and I've had an amazing day I'll definitely be back here very very soon see you next time